Hello and welcome to my second YouTube video. So please don't be too harsh. I am making this video to show you how I solved a problem that was causing a lot of issues for me that is disabling the sound on a circuit board in home electronic devices. I don't know if this problem has plagued others, but for me, my coffee maker and my dehumidifier have sounds that go off without the ability to turn them off built into the actual device. Um, which in my opinion is a terrible design. Um, I could have returned these items, but that's also a big hassle for something as large as a dehumidifier. And I actually really like this dehumidifier other than the sound issue. It is from Home, I got it on Amazon. After you solve the sound issue, it is perfectly functional and a great dehumidifier. So this dehumidifier beeps when you turn it on, it beeps when you turn it off, it beeps when you take out the drawer to empty the water. Yes, I'm aware that I'm taking out the water. You don't have to beep at me. It beeps, most importantly, when the water collection drawer is full. However, it already turns off, even though it's beeped at you, so it's not in danger of overflowing or anything. The only thing that it's good for is if you happen to be like waiting to hear when you should empty the drawer. I just don't know that many people that have that use case. A lot of people hook up a hose that can drain into an actual drain to their dehumidifier, so their water collection drawer will never get full. I don't have that luxury, so I just empty manually the water collection drawer and I don't need to know when it's full when I'm sleeping in the middle of the night at 4 a.m. So this is the dehumidifier. You can see right now it's 75, which is very high. It's raining outside. So I made the unfortunate mistake of not thinking to record this video while I was doing it. And when I got to the very end, I realized, oh, this might be helpful to other people. So I started recording after I already arrived to the circuit board. However, I can explain to you verbally how to get to the circuit board. So what you do is you essentially take out every screw that you can see using a screwdriver. That's the only tool you'll need. And you'll even have to take out some on the inside to take all these plastic pieces apart. You wanna get all of them off of the dehumidifier then you'll be able to see the circuit board and you'll arrive to the part of the video that is the most useful. So as you can see, I finally found the culprit of the sound on the dehumidifier and I'll show you guys how I found it. Here it is. So that sound is, you can't turn it off. So every time this gets full, it makes that sound, even though this is in our bedroom, so it wakes us up. So I have been on a treasure hunt to find this for the past 30 minutes. Finally found it. And I'm gonna take this off. Yes. And it looks like I got the magnet piece as well so let's see if the sound comes on no sound oh my goodness that is amazing all right since i didn't film taking this apart i will kind of film putting it back together so you can see how to reverse do this I have a lot of wires here i'm not really sure how all of those came in maybe through the bottom snapped back on there. Just gonna put the screw back in. And then there's another screw on this side. 